that we have in today is maximum sum circular sub array. This question is a medium level question on deep code and I totally feel the same. Also, this question is an extension of maximum sub array problem. So if you have solved this question in the past before, then this question would be slightly easier to understand because the only difference between this question and this question is that they have made the array circular in nature. So without further ado, let's quickly try and understand the question. The question says you are given an array of integers wherein the integers can be negative as well. Had the, had the numbers been positive, then the total sum of all the numbers present in the array would have led to the maximum sum sub array. However, since those are negative in nature, due to this reason, we will have to take care of multiple cases and what those cases would be, we will understand it by the presentation. So let's quickly hop on to it. The first one is the same as the maximum sum sub array problem where the array is not considered to be circular and we find out the maximum array in those cases. For example, this is the array that is given to us and the maximum sum sub array is found somewhere in the middle. I have taken the corresponding example as minus 12, 6, 3, minus 2, 4, minus 100. And if I ask you guys what will be the maximum sub, sub array for this example, the answer would be 6 plus 3, 9, 9 minus 2 is 7, 7 plus 4 is 11. So the answer corresponds here as 11. And this is what we need to identify. I'll use the same principle as we have done in that question. So let's start the iteration over this example and let's try and identify the maximum sum sub array that exists over here. What we will be doing, we'll be creating two variables, the one for storing the answer for this particular case, which is maximum sum sub array, which is actually the result. And the other one that we will take happens to be the current maximum running sum that we have seen so far. So current maximum running sum, let's call it CM. Uh, let's initialize cm to 0 because so far we haven't seen any element so it is initialized to 0 and maximum sum sub array has been initialized to the first element of the array as the starting point so let's get started and what we will be doing we'll be iterating over the array so let's start the iteration so first element that we see happens to be minus 12 and there could be two cases the first case is include this element do not include this element so what we are going to do we will we have two options, either to include it in the current maximum running sum or not. So let's identify those two cases. What would be the updated sum if we include it? So minus 12 plus 0 gives us minus 12. And the other possibility is if we consider the starting point of our maximum sum sub array as, minus, as that of minus 12 index, that would lead to the second possibility of answer. What I'm trying to say, you will understand in the next iteration. So out of minus 12 and minus 12, which one gives you the maximum value? Maximum value is given by minus 12 itself. So CM gets updated to minus 12. And out of these two values, which one is the maximum one since both of them are equal, the value of MS remains the same. Let's proceed ahead. The next value that we have happens to be minus 6. So the first possibility arises if we consider both these values together and the second possibility arises if we consider the starting point of our maximum sum sub array as minus 6 only. So minus 12 plus minus 6 gives you what? It gives you minus 6. And if we consider the starting point of a sub array from the first index, which is this one, that would lead to the second possibility. So out of these two, which one gives you the result? This one gives you the result. Therefore, the current max running sum value gets updated to 6. So this gets updated to 6. So far, so good. And again, we will make a comparison between these two values. Which one gives you the maximum one? This gives you the maximum one, which is in sync with our expectation. If we have an array consisting of two elements, minus 12 and 6, the answer would be 6, which is absolutely correct. The next element that we have happens to be 3. And there are two possibilities. Either you consider the uh, starting point of your array from this position, or you consider it from this position. So. 6 plus 3 gives you 9. This is the first possibility of answer. If we consider the starting point from the previous index and the second possibility is we start consider the starting point from this place itself. So out of these two, which one gives you the maximum value? 9 gives you the maximum value. So CM gets updated to 9. And out of these two, which one is the maximum one? 9 is the maximum one. So this gets updated to 9 again. Let's proceed ahead. The next element that we have happens to be minus 2. 
so there are two possibilities either the starting point is considered that coming from the previous iterations which is this one or the starting point is considered from minus 2 itself so 9 minus 2 comma minus 2 which one gives you the maximum value Seven out of 7 comma minus 2 7 is the maximum one so uh, cm gets updated to 7 and out of these two values 7 and 9 which one is the maximum one 9 is the maximum one that means the maximum sub array sum that we have seen so far remains as it is if our array ends over here which is in sync with our expectation if we only have these four elements in the array the answer should be 9 and this is what we are getting the entire game is of identifying the starting point of your maximum sub sub array if you are able to do that you, you are sorted let's proceed ahead the next element that we see happens to be 4 so there are two possibilities either you consider the starting point that is coming from the current max running sum variable and the value happens to be 7 so the, the first possibility is 7 plus 4 and the other possibility is you consider the starting from point from this particular position so which one gives you the maximum result 7 plus 11 7 plus 4 is 11 and this is greater than 4 as a result of which this variable gets updated to 11 out of these two values which one is the greater one 11 is the greater one so this gets updated to 11 and this is in sync with our expectation had the array been over till here the answer would have been 11 let's proceed ahead the next element that we have seen is minus 100 and again there are two possibilities either you consider the starting point from minus 100 itself which is over here i have written it over here was possibility another possibility is the starting point is being considered that is coming from the previous iterations which is this one so 11 plus minus 100 gives you 89 minus 89 and which one is greater in out of these two which one is greater minus 89 is greater as a result of which cm gets updated to minus 89 and out of minus 89 and 11 which one is the greater one 11 is the greater one and this actually gives you the final result i hope i'm able to convey my thoughts this is for the case where the array is non-circular how do we extend the same problem to a circular array so it's really simple guys you just need to visualize few things what i'm trying to say. since the array is circular instead of representing the array in a circular form what we can do we can flatten this up and the rule while flattening the array is that you append the entire array towards the tail of it so that you can consider all the possibilities if the answer doesn't lie over here the only possibility is that the answer lies at the converging point where the sum portion comes from the head of the array and the other portion comes from the tail of the array and this is what this case talks about so we have an array that ends up till here i added the entire array towards the end of it and the answer lies which is equal to x plus y x portion is coming from the tail of the array and y portion is coming from the head of the array and we have some middle portion in between and in case you visualize it further then you will yourself see that the answer is nothing but total minus the minimum contiguous sub array sum that exists in the entire array and why i am saying this because let's divide the entire array into three portions one part comes from the, the answer part come one answer part comes from the head of the array the other answer part comes from the tail of the array and let's assume whatever remains in the middle is the is nothing but the minimum so the total would be x plus y plus min and if we are able to identify minimum out of the entire array then our work is done because x plus y is nothing but total minus minimum and this is what we have to identify so the other possibility is if you are able to identify the minimum contiguous sub array sum that exists in this array and total can be can be calculated in a single iteration so total minus minimum would give you the other possibility of answer let's understand this particular case by an example let's assume the elements that we have is minus 20, 21 minus 2 minus 6 3 4 10 and if i ask you guys what is the maximum contiguous sub array sum if this array happens to be circular the answer would be this plus this three element these three elements and this would lead to 21 plus 10 is 
थर्टी वन थर्टी वन प्लस फोर इज थर्टी फाइव थर्टी फाइव प्लस थ्री इज थर्टी एट सो द आंसर हियर इज थर्टी एट एंड लेट्स चेक वेदर आर हाइपोथिस इज करेक्ट और नॉट सो लेट्स कैलकुलेट द टोटल दैट एग्जिस्ट इन दिस इंटायर आर ए सो थर्टी एट प्लस माइनस टू गिवज यू थर्टी सिक्स थर्टी सिक्स माइनस सिक्स गिवज यू थर्टी सो द टोटल सम ऑफ द इंटायर आर ए हैपन्स टू बी थर्टी एंड इफ आई आस्क यू गाइज वॉट इज द मिनिमम कॉन्टिग्यूस सब आर ए सम दैट एग्जिस्ट इन दिस आर ए इट वुड बी नथिंग बट माइनस टू प्लस माइनस सिक्स विच इज माइनस एट एंड टाइम टू अप्लाई द फॉर्मूला टोटल माइनस मिनिमम सम इट इज नथिंग बट थर्टी एट थर्टी माइनस माइनस एट विच इज थर्टी एट अगेन इन सिंक विद आर एक्सपेक्टेशन इट इज नथिंग बट एक्स प्लस वाई सो इट्स अ मैथमेटिकल कॉन्सेप्ट रादर देन कॉम्प्लेक्स ओवर दी कोडिंग साइड टू कंक्लूड इट फॉर द लेट्स क्ली वॉक थ्रू द कोडिंग सेक्शन एंड एज वी हैव आइडेंटिफाइड द मैक्सिमम कॉन्टिग्यूस सम सब आर ए वाई टेकिंग टू वेरिएबल्स करेंट मैक्सिमम रनिंग सम एंड मैक्सिमम सब आर ए सम हेयर अगेन वी कैन यूज द सेम प्रिंसिपल टू आइडेंटिफाई द मिनिमम कॉन्टिग्यूस सब आर ए सम टाइम टू लुक इन टू द कोड हेयर आर क्रिएटेड फाइव वेरिएबल्स टोटल सम maximum sum current max running sum and these two variables are identifying the minimum contiguous sub array sum that exists in the array these two variables are used to identify the maximum contiguous sub array sum that exists in the array and this one is to identify the total sum of all the elements that we have so we iterate one by one and we update current max to uh, math dot max current max plus current element and the second possibility which it highlights is that the starting point of your maximum sub sub array sum is that element itself so separate these two statements from these two statements these two are identifying for identifying the maximum of the maximum value of max value of max sub array sum and these two statements are used to identify the minimum value of minimum sub array sum that exists in this entire array and once we have calculated the current max we compare max sum and current max together we select the maximum one out of this and here we are doing the reversal at line number 18 we are identifying the total sum that exists in this entire array by adding all the elements up and once we are out of this for loop what do we do we check if my max sum is greater than 0 if in case it is greater than 0 then i have two options either it could be maximum sum itself and the other could be total minus minimum sum which i talked in the presentation otherwise if my maximum sum is less than 0 then that has to be the answer so let's try and submit this up accepted i hope i made sense to you guys and in case you like today's session please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye